So um, I don't really know where to start with this particular episode, so to speak, because there's no starting point. And I've listened to a lot of podcasts, first episodes, and they all are kind of the same. They're awkward and they are informative and they are not very thought out. If you're listening to this and you're starting at this podcast, good choice. Um, I think it will be worth your while to stick around. Um, And I will probably be sharing this podcast to those who want to know more. So my name is Josiah Pierce. I am the founder and owner of Jossie, which is a design company specializing really in web and branding. Um, And that's web design and branding. But I wanted to start a podcast. And then is that podcast. Venn is a dream I've had for a really long time, and it's kind of finally coming together. Um, so what is Venn? Venn is a podcast uh, where I am the host, and right now it's I think it's going to be just me for the foreseeable future, uh, hosting this podcast, which is all about creatives, entrepreneurs, business people, and what skills they have and how they overlap. So I'm really fascinated with the ways that an individual's skills talk to each other and connect. I have found that a lot of people have a lot of gifts and skills. For instance, with me, I I'm not just a web designer or even a graphic designer. I'm really passionate about business. I'm really passionate about marketing and the nitty gritty aspects of that. And I'm really passionate about public speaking or just communicating with others. And that allows me to run my business. It's what allowed me to start it in the first place. So Venn is all about me discovering more people like me and wanting to hear their story. Not everybody has a story. And what I mean by that is there could be some guests where I just have them on to talk and I might have some thoughts or questions that I want to bring up to them and I want to hear what they say. And that's what Venn is all about. The name comes from a Venn diagram. And the idea there is, you know, the classic Venn diagram is two circles and, you know, they overlap in some way or shape or form. And there's this in between or this overlap. And I feel like most people that are remotely successful in life, their skill set is like a Venn diagram that might have like 20 circles in it. I don't know. But they have overlap of skills and those skills touch each other and they talk. So that's the main focus of the podcast is I really want to have conversations and I want to learn from these individuals. And um, I've created a little bit of documentation for my guests. And one of the big points on there is, hey, this is about you. You know, I want to hear your story. It's not about me. So that's the major thing. Will I have a couple episodes where it's just me talking? Maybe. I don't have any planned at the moment, but that might happen. After explaining what Venn is, I want to really explain where I've come from and how Venn took shape. So one thing about me that not a lot of people know is um, I have been in or involved in a lot of podcasts, actually. None of them really left the cutting room floor. I was on a, a few that were mainly co-hosted by me or I was a, you know, a pretty central part of, but none of them really left the cutting room floor. So this is not my first attempt at a podcast. That being said, it's my first solo podcast effort. You know, I'm learning about myself all the time through my business. And one of the things I'm learning is sometimes I need to just do things on my own. That's not necessarily me being selfish or wanting all the glory. Yeah. So it's not a selfishness thing or me being wanting to be the main character. It's more I'm learning that if I want to make something and I want to see something come to fruition and be finished, 
my best bet is to do it myself. I don't know if that's the way I'm wired or if that's just how I work best, but that's how I really positioned Ven was to do it on my own. And if I can't really do it on my own, I probably shouldn't do it or it probably won't happen. (laughs) So this allows for me to schedule guests. It allows for me to produce the podcast in a way that I think is sustainable and allowing for me to be able to uh, create it with minimal effort. Uh, Podcasts are a ton of work and I'm going to try to keep this podcast at a steady output. I'm shooting for a weekly schedule right now where I record with a guest and I upload a podcast with a guest, a different guest, but I want a weekly schedule and see if I can pull that off. So one of the things that I learned from the past podcasts is just a lack of organization and a lack of uh, communal desire to upload, really. I felt that when I really wanted to do something with a podcast, I didn't feel like I had the creative direction because I was sharing it. And then there's this awkward tension of, well, we're not really making any money. So what is this for? What are we doing it for? Are we doing it for fun or, you know, whatever. So I discovered a podcast has to have a solution for the creator and the podcast has to have clear, precise direction and a workflow that upholds that. So for me, then is not about money. (laughs) It's not about fame or anything. I I don't really think podcasting is the space to get famous anymore. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's a super saturated market. So I'm not doing it for that. I really want to do it because I want to have conversations and I want to learn. And what's cool with then is I have an opportunity to create a platform for someone else. So one of the pieces that I explain when I try to get guests is, hey, this is an opportunity for you to get exposure for free. And this is also an opportunity for you to talk about your business in any way you want or you to talk about what you've done in life. It's it's free publicity and exposure. And that's kind of cool that I can offer that through this podcast. Now, what's my value for the listener? I am a podcast addict. I'm pretty sure you could take away television shows and I think you could take away movies from me before I would let you take away podcasts. And the reason for that is they're like books to me. I mean, I'm not an avid reader. I'm trying to get better at it. But to me, podcasts are my book or my resource to grow. I listen to some comedy podcasts, I listen to some sports talk podcasts, but if I'm listening to anything, it's probably going to be something that has to do with my personal growth and my professional journey. And so I'm trying to give that value to the listener in the same way I would want to receive it. So the the goal is for someone who isn't me or a guest to pick this up and listen to it and go, oh, that's a cool story. They showed me something, you know, with, with me, my story, I would hope for someone to pick it up and go, Hey, like that's kind of me, you know, I'm, I'm like in Josiah's shoes. I'm not where he's at right now, but like, that's where I want to be. And I got value out of it because he laid out a trail for me to follow. He blazed a path. So that's really what I want then to be is something that someone can pick up and go, oh, hey, like I was starting my own e-commerce business and here's an interview with somebody who did that and this is relevant and valuable to me. And I think there's a lot of value for the listener there, not only if they really are truly trying to do what the guest is talking about, but also gaining perspective, right? Like my father-in-law, he works on cars or has super good experience working on cars. Like he knows a lot about them and And I just kind of like sitting down and listening to him talk about building cars because I can't really 
understand how a car works, but when he talks about it, it makes sense to me and it kind of makes me want to learn. You know, maybe listening to someone who started a restaurant on this podcast has some value to somebody. I don't know. I I think it does because it does to me. You know, I'm sitting here listening to how somebody started a fitness business and that's fascinating to me. I'm never going to start a fitness business, but that has value to me, right? So that's really the goal of then is to be interesting stories and interesting conversations. I'm learning more and more that if you are a creative person, you're a writer and you're a storyteller, even if that's not the the sort of medium in which you make things, you really have some characteristic of a writer or a storyteller. You have to, right? So I'm fascinated by that. I love telling stories. But I also am really falling in love with writing and this is an opportunity for me to pursue that. So that's my my brief bio about the the podcast and that's kind of the story behind how it started. Really, I'm at a point in my career where this is what I want to be doing. I want to be doing content creation uh, in various mediums. You know, I'm finding... I have to make things, you know, there's a YouTube video I made about this. I have to make things. And what I mean by that is I have to make things for me. If you are a freelance creative like myself, you can make things for other people all day long, but odds are you never have the creative control you're really looking for. If that's you, congratulations. That's amazing. But Candidly, that's not me. I don't get that creative freedom all the time. And so as a result, I make things for myself that have a lot of my DNA, you know, really all of my DNA. And that can be something as simple as building a desk or a shelf in my shop or, you know, creating a YouTube video or a website. Like to me, the complexity doesn't matter as much as the thought of it and the follow through. I spent a lot of time and a lot of money redesigning my whole desk. Okay, you're seeing part of it right here. That was something that I might not have needed, but man, it sure gave me value and inspired me to keep working on client projects. I was hitting creative block the other day really bad and I made something that had no monetary value And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I've got a great idea. And, you know, that light bulb switches on for me. And so then is some of that. I've always wanted to do this. It's been my dream to start creating more and more content um, in the digital realm. And this is one of a couple steps that I'm taking. And out of honestly, out of all of them, this is the one I'm most excited about. So welcome. This is something that is going to grow and evolve and perhaps change. Thank you for being a part of it. And I can't wait to keep recording these. I've already got a few under my belt and they've been an absolute blast. So I don't really see an end in sight. Um, Yeah, that's about it.